In just 60 days, Lisa made $55,000 as an Ayurvedic health coach using this one sales strategy. We teach our clients specifically on Instagram. In this video, we break down how she became a niche authority in wellness and healing and how being in the room with other successful female entrepreneurs influenced her business success. If you're looking to expand your income, your impact, and your influence, I'd stay until the end of this video. Let's dive in. Lisa, I had to push the record button so fast because of what we were talking about outside of the recording just got so juicy and so good. So I want to just dive right into that. But before we get to that, tell the listeners who you are, what your niche is and what you sell. So they have a little bit of context for our conversation about your amazing success with CCA so far. Okay. So my name is Lisa Power and I'm an Ayurvedic health coach. Um, so, and just for context, Ayurveda is holistic Indian natural medicine. Um, and so what I do is I empower my clients with the teachings and tools from Ayurveda so that they can really optimize the, their health and heal their lives at every level. Um, does that answer the question? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Wait, did I miss and something? No, you're all good. That's perfect. And you know, we were talking a little bit offline and the reason why I wanted to have Lisa come onto the show is because her success with CCA so far in such a short amount of time has been massive. Like when Lisa and I first talked and we were on your enrollment call, it was all about like, how do I get more clients from Instagram? And now here we are 60 days later, over $55,000 in cash generated. You're telling me you're too busy because you have so many leads flowing in, your organic content strategy is dialed in. What would you say really kicked off your success after you signed up for CCA mm -hmm. and you were like, I'm going to go all in to learn organic Instagram as a personal brand selling a high ticket course? Mm -hmm. Um. I think that what kicked off the success, I mean, I just feel like the the support in the program is really beautiful and um, super impactful and empowering. Um, I feel that the material in the course was just like, there's just too much. There's too much material in the course. I can't even get through it all, but it was so like, it's so strategy focused and also really mindset focused and empowering in that way. Um, and I think I, I don't know, I think I'm just like, you know, I'm just ready. Like I was just ready to up level, like get to the next level. And um, I don't know, like, I don't know specifically what about CCA like helped me with that, but it just did. <laughs> I love it. And I think this is like really what I wanted to dive into in this episode was around this kind of like women empowerment vibe that we have behind yeah. CCA. Can you speak more to your experience of like seeing the team of women coaches and mostly being women inside of the academy? Like what has that been like for you as a female founder? <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> So I've been on this journey of building this like amazing business, which is my, it's like my dream um, and it's my baby. And I've been uh, like, I made my first sale maybe a year and a half ago. Um, and it's just like, you know, it's bloomed into this thing that I could never have imagined it would be. But in doing so, I had to just really buckle down and put on my manly pants and um, just work super, super hard. Like I've been working insane hours for the last several years um, to get this going. And I just felt like I was kind of becoming really masculine, which isn't natural for me. And then I was also working with an amazing coach who like I credit so much of my success to. Mm. Um, however, he's a man, obviously, and then his team is all men. And I was just finding like, I just feeling this pull, like I want to work with women because I want to see women who 
have and are continuing to succeed at really high levels and have not had to turn into men and have Mm. like are able to have like really healthy nourishing loving relationships and they take time off for themselves and they have a lot of fun and they have there's a lot of pleasure in their lives and I was just starting to get like oh my god am I going to end up like a single really rich and successful cat lady and I was like (laughs) (laughs) I love it and I was like that can't happen for me. Like I refuse. Yeah. That just, that is not on the table for me. So um, I feel like I was really longing for that. And then I found you. And so I feel like I've been able to heal that fear, first of all. And then I'm also starting to see that it is possible to grow <clears throat> a really successful business to like ridiculous levels and um and still feel like a woman Mm, I love that and I always say like you can have it all but you can't have it all of the time and this conversation is making me think of that because when I first started my business like I was in the same boat as you like it felt like every day was a 14 hour day 16 hour a day and it's like Mm -hmm. oh my god when is this gonna end and I think when we're in those seasons it's almost like we have to appreciate it because that is what's going to set you up for success. I have this new thing going for my brand around like being soft girl CEOs. Mm. And I'm like, there's so much that I learned from that version of me that was like, go, go, go. So masculine. And like, I credit a lot of my success to that season, but it's also reminded me that I really understood it was just a push season and it's not a season that I'd want to be in forever. And I think this is like the vision of CCA is like helping you build your company and vision the way in which you want it. Mm -hmm. And like kind of just understanding what season are we in? So it's like maybe right now you're in that season, but like your cash flow is great. You're living a beautiful life. You're always tuning into the calls from these beautiful cafes and it's sunny and it's gorgeous and all the good energy. And I think it's leading you up to something so big and you're already seeing that like in these few months that you're with us. So what would you say has been like the biggest breakthrough for you in your business after joining CCA? Hmm. I think that the biggest breakthroughs, there's a couple, the biggest breakthrough is I have been able I've been challenged to get more clear on who my ideal client avatar is um, because I was not clear on that. Um, I've kind of just been marketing to everyone. Mm. (laughs) So I've been getting like all kinds of different people and I've, it's fine. Like I've been able to help so many people. um, Yeah. But I was also starting to get this feeling like, oh, like, I I think I just want to work with women. And then I was starting to get the feeling of like, okay, but I need to dial this in even more because I'm I'm attracting people who are just not aligned or not the right fit. Um, So I've been challenged to get more clear on that. And it's been getting more and more and more Mm -hmm. clear. So I'm really excited about like, just like really serving this one specific avatar who needs this work really badly. Um, So there's that. And then I've also just gotten so much more um, education and empowerment in terms of organic content and organic Mm. uh, lead generation and organic marketing. Um, Because I love, like I have quite a large following and I love organic content and it works when it hits it works Mm -hmm. but I didn't know how to I didn't know how to do it so I was lucky somehow somehow I was like putting out good content that was generating leads um but now it's just I feel like I have a strategy behind it and I also have more strategy around how to make content to attract that specific and ideal client. 
Yeah. And I think you're such like a unique situation for your business because you came to us with a large following, like over a hundred K on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And it's so interesting because when we first talked, you're like, yeah, I'm running ads for my program. And I'm like, why? You have a hundred K <laughs> on Instagram. Like you have a pool of people who want to pay you like right in front of you and tapping into organic. Like you can already see, like, I mean, obviously it reduces your costs. And the thing is like, not everybody is a personal brand. So Mm -hmm. I think the people that can be personal brands are, they're like really the real geniuses because Mm -hmm. you don't have to like fish for people. You're able to just really attract people in. So what are maybe some of the organic things that we've shifted about the count going from like, Hey, I'm Lisa who likes to share these tips and knowledge to like, Hey, I'm Lisa with the high ticket premium service coaching program. Mm. Um, I think that, well, I learned so much about, I didn't even know that like stories is where you're supposed to sell. Mm. <laughs> like that didn't, I had no idea about that. Um, so I was doing my stories totally wrong. Not not like never selling in my stories. Um, so that's been really, (laughs) really eye opening. Um, and then to learn that I should be, you know, posting less to stories, um, and being more strategic about it. And then, you know, like, um, I've been able to do like really strong call to action posts in my stories and that's had really huge returns. Um, one story I did had like, um, over 13k views on it which is far more than I normally get on my story views and I got so many I got like over probably like 400 leads wow from it um 400 leads from one Instagram story that's a shift yeah 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 um so that blew up things for a couple weeks we were like like, ah! <laughs> uh, my DM setter was like, what is going on? <laughs> uh, great problems to have. Yeah. Um, and then, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> the question is what were some of these like organic strategies and tactics that really helped mm-hmm. you grow to be more of a business owner on Instagram rather than just a personal brand? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I've learned more about um, specific types of content. Uh, I've learned more about um, how to design captions in a way that really calls people into action. Um, I've learned so much more about uh, how to like create before I was spending just so much time on each post. Like sometimes I would spend Mm. like three to four hours on every post. So you can imagine like, (sighs) yeah. So you can imagine like how much of my time was spent doing social media and then how few posts I was able to get out in a week Mm -hmm. um, and how stressed I was because then Mm. I, I just like have no time to myself on top of that. Yeah. Um, so I've been learning how to be more efficient with my time in terms of making posts, um, and, uh, the difference between posts that are, you know, educational and posts that, um, really call people into action. Mm, So good. And what would you say your fears were before joining CCA? And I also want to touch on the fact of what you just said before we start recording that when you chose to sign up, you were also going through a big personal life transition of like moving. So what were maybe some of those fears that you may have had from the minute you were like inquiring to work with us to being like, yeah, here's my credit card. Let's do this. Mm. Um, so I'd been following you for a while. Um, I was kind of in a limbo period for like the two months before I signed up. I had just, you know, my contract with my former coach had ended and I was just kind of leaving things for a bit to see like, okay, what do I want to do mm-hmm. next? Do I need to just kind of spend some time without a coach? And so I did do that. But then I was starting to feel lost 
and I was mm. starting to feel, um, I don't, I was starting to feel really down because I, A, I think I felt really alone mm. um, in my business. It was like literally just me. <laughs> um, so that was impacting my mood. It was impacting my excitement about the business. I was just feeling really like low. Mm -hmm. And so, and then my friend, I was speaking to one of my friends who was also in your program and she was telling me about her results. So then I was like, okay, let me book a call. Um, so I think that, I don't think I had many fears. Did I? No, I don't. Allie think, sold you. Allie sold me. <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah, I don't think I had many fears. I think that I, I don't know, when I signed up, I just felt really excited and really invigorated. Maybe I didn't have fears because I have invested so much money in mm -hmm. high level business coaching over the past two years. Like I've spent well over 100K on business coaching just in the last two years mm. like <laughs> it's been insane um and i you know i haven't yet gotten to 100k in my bank account so like it's not like i just had that money like mm -hmm. i was just investing and trusting like i'm gonna make this back and be able to mm. pay this off and i have so it's been amazing um but uh i wasn't I wasn't scared. I, I felt really invigorated and excited. And I knew that it was going to help me for sure. I didn't know in what way. But yeah, I think just because I've done so much investing, I wasn't scared. I love that. And I think that's so powerful to just see it as an investment versus as an expense right? It's like, I'm going to invest money to get an ROI on my money, which brings us to like you earning over 50K in 60 days. Can you walk us through that? Like what was the big thing that shifted for you in terms of generating cash flow for your business? Um, I think that, well, I, don't, I can't really point to one thing. I think it's been all of the, just like honing in on things. I think I've just been honing in, like honing, 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 honing in on just little things that have been kind of floppy and I just needed mm. to get really like, like firm up those things. Um, so I think that has really helped me. Um, I think that I'm getting better at sales. I'm getting more confident with sales. Yeah, you are. I'm getting more yeah, I'm getting a lot more confident with sales. And I think I'm just like, yeah, my objection handling is so much better yeah. now. It's really, I love it. Way better. <laughs> it's so funny. Cause I feel like sometimes he'll come to the calls and I'll be like, Lisa, don't take their shit. They're giving you shit. Don't take their shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I find like, I'm like, I'm my questions to prospects are getting so much more refined and more like, mm like digging. Yep. Like I'm getting in there and then they're like, Oh, uh, <laughs> you know? Um, so I feel really empowered in that way. Um, what else? Hmm. Yeah, I, I can't, I, I can't say exactly, but I think that, um, it's also just felt like a whirlwind the last two months. So my brain is probably not, uh, yeah, putting things together very well. I think it's perfect. And I think, you know, we were talking about this on the call this morning, uh, the group call. It was basically all about, we all want to scale, right? We're like, we want to make more money. We want to make more impact. We want to serve more clients. But then we don't realize what comes on the other side of scale which is like the chaos and like, right. oh my God, maybe someone's listening and they're like, I would die to have 400 people reply to one story. Mm -hmm. But now that you've had that, you know what that feels like on the other side of like, holy shit, mm -hmm. trying to work with 400 people on one story. That's a lot. And yes. the amount of calls it brings in and the amount of calls in the calendar. So I think it's also like, 
I remember like this was like the thing when I hit 100K a month. I was like, why did no one tell me what servicing 100K a month is like? Because it's a lot. And it's like we have to almost like increase our capacity to welcome in that next level of success. We have to build infrastructure and we have to like build to scale where it's like you alongside almost everybody else comes to us because they're like, I want more cash flow in my business. Like that's what we're known for. Like we know how to help people make money with Instagram. But now that you did it, you're like, ooh, what's next? And I think that's really interesting to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm, you know, my goal is, my next goal is 50K months, as you know. Um, And I know that it's possible and that it's just going to take tweaks, Mm -hmm. um, which I'm in the process of implementing. Um, So like, you know, I'm right now, I'm in the process of just really buckling down on getting rid of all of the silly tasks that I have been doing forever and that I do Mm -hmm. not need to be doing all the admin tasks that I've been doing like stupid, like, let me edit this video and like like, the caption and then (laughs) put it, put it onto my, my community platform and like all that stuff. Um, so I just like, so I just hired a VA recruiting team yesterday I nice. hired a, a video editor for my um, social media. Um, who else did I hire? Um, yeah, I've also hired. A, this is se- kind of separate from my this specific mm-hmm. business, but I've hired a um, someone who's going to help me with brand partnerships and manage mm. all my brand partnerships, so I can have nice. that cash flow coming in as well. So. Um, that's exciting. And, um, I feel excited that I'm like, hopefully going to be able to lean back and just do the tasks that are really going to, um, move the needle in my business. And also like the tasks that I love doing, Mm. like I love making content and I love, um, I love working with my clients. I love teaching, I love like, you know, leading the one-on-one calls and the group calls. Um, And I also am excited that by doing this, I'm going to be able to have more time for like advancing my studies in Ayurveda Mm. because I've kind of had to put that to the side for the last year and a half while I've been building this. And I'm like, I can't keep doing this. Like I want to to continue your education. A, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm excited to be able to do that too. So like, I just booked a, I just booked a, um, an Ayurvedic preceptor retreat nice. in, in Bali in, in wow. Jan- February. So that, and it's part of my Ayurvedic practitioners program. So I'm going to be able to go and spend um, eight days, like working with an Ayurvedic doctor and wow. learning very one-on-one and in depth. So that's exciting. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah. Lisa, I'm so inspired by you. I'm inspired by you because I'm personally passionate about your niche. I love your content. I was like binging some <laughs> of it the other day. Um, and I think it's also really cool to see like something so niche and so specific being so successful. And I know this is like one of the number one things that people come to us with. They're like, if I don't have a make money niche, I don't have a business niche, can I still be successful? And like you are a living embodiment of that through this episode of showing people like healing your body, healing your mind, body, soul, spirit, like all of that is so valuable. Like you can't even put a price on it if you tried. So I really appreciate you coming on the show. I appreciate this episode, learning a little bit more about what you're teaching, but also like how you've been able to invest so much into your business beyond your already like amazing skill set and turn this into something that is impacting millions of people through your content alone. And now even, you know, hundreds in your paid programs. So Last thing I want to say or ask you is what's one thing you would tell somebody that's maybe listening to this that's on the fence about joining CCA? Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> I would say um, especially 
like especially I can't speak for men but especially if you're a woman I really recommend it um because it feels so like there's so much sisterhood and we're all like really cheering one another on and you see the same faces over and over again on the calls Mm. I love that there's calls every day um I it feels like I'm part of a community and it feels like I'm not alone because like entrepreneurship is very lonely. Mm -hmm. Um, So it really helps you to feel like you have, you're part of a community of people who are women who are, I mean, it's not just women, but a lot of women who are just like really like have big dreams and are really Mm -hmm. going for it and are really inspiring and exciting to be around. Um, and I'd say, I don't know. I think it's just like a no brainer, like put yourself in rooms with people who are doing crazy and cool shit and who are like way ahead of you. (laughs) That's like, that's what I do all the time. Yeah. Um, because you're just, just by osmosis, you're just naturally going to be challenged to up level yourself. Mm -hmm. and you're naturally like all the ways that you're holding yourself back all your shadows are naturally gonna have to come to the surface in that Mm -hmm. intensity of um inspiration and elevation and and light and so I think like you know if CCA really does resonate with someone then they should definitely 100% go for it and like investing in business mentorship is the best thing I've ever done Mm. it's changed my life like not even just like in in terms of my business like it like uh investing in high level business mentorship has been some of the best self-development work I've ever Mm. done some of the best like therapy I've ever had um I've healed so much of my own bullshit inside of myself um and I've been able to um just really so much more step into the the truer version of myself that I am when I'm not living from my limiting stories and my fears and all of my old conditioning so I think that like if you have a dream of really serving people at a high level, and then you also have this dream of an amazing life, and you also have a dream of becoming the most like amazing elevated version of yourself, mm. then like NFCCA is like you just feel intuitively right and drawn to it, then just yeah, just freaking do it. Ah, I love it, Lisa. Thank you so much. I appreciate the kind words. Like I appreciate it. I love having you in the community. You are such a light, even just like coming on the call, sharing your experiences, being vulnerable. Thank you so much. If people are listening and they're like, I want to learn everything about what you do, where can they find you? Um, They can find me on Instagram and my handle is well. W-E-L-L underscore witch, W-I-T-C-H. Love it, Lisa. Thank you so much. We'll drop all of that in the description for them. And I'll see you on the next group call. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you.